Blog Talk Radio. I remember a time when I was I had come into the church and I must say I, I had just you know you know women we we are and me and you too you working on yourself you want to get it together and so I had you know I had lost a couple pounds I was you know I was feeling confident and I had come into the church and when I came in it was like the women was like oh my God Jezebel. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, my God, what did I do? It, if it had not been for the Lord who was my confidence, it's like the scene had stopped and everybody in the church had looked at me like I had done something wrong from entering in the church. She got the nerve to have a shape. She got the nerve to have some pumps on. The devil is a lie. You ain't supposed to have a shape. You, <laughs> you're supposed to be promoted. <laughs> you're not supposed to have a shape. What you doing having a shape? I don't. Every woman is beautiful. Let's get this straight now. Mm-hmm. Every mm-hmm. woman on the planet is a beautiful creation. Yes. But remember so and so, you know her name? She used to call skinny women are uh, bleep, bleep. But then the talk to- the doctor <laughs> told her, You gotta get demoted. <laughs> It's just like fasting. The Word of God says in 1 Corinthians 7 and 5, Queens, watch this. It says, defraud you not one another. We're talking about marriage. We're going to go back from marriage to single. Watch this. Except it be with consent for a time that ye may give yourself to fasting and praying. Yes. Now watch this. And come together again that Satan tempt you not for your lack of sexual relationship with your husband or your wife. Now, a teaching came into effect that says, and I've heard a preacher tell people, you're not supposed to have intercourse when you're fasting. Can I tell you something? Then all of y'all need to lay hands on me because I need deliverance. I need y'all right now to cast that spirit out of me because I get horny as hell when I fast. And when I got a wife, ain't no devil in hell going to tell me that I can't exercise my, uh, uh, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Y'all may not believe it. I know you heard it. You ain't got no business having sexual relationship with your wife or your husband. I've heard a pastor stand up and say that with his horny self. You ain't got no business having sex. The Bible said they're fraud. I want my wife to, listen. Uh, listen, let me tell you something. Anywho, but look what Paul said in verse 6. But I speak this by what? Permission and not of commandment. Yes. Mm-hmm. In other words, God didn't say it. That's right. I have the contemporary English version, and it said, In my opinion, that is what should be done. Though I don't know of anything the Lord said about this matter. You see there? Amen. Amen. But people going crazy. There was a mother in the church that told a young lady she was having trouble with her husband, and the mother told her, honey, let me tell you what to do to him. Close your legs. No. And listen, I ain't talking about something I'm thinking. I'm talking about something I know. Close your legs. How in the world... You're going to tell a young lady to close her legs on her husband. All I got to say, there's some gates open. (laughs) You can close it if you want to. (laughs) Talking about a man ain't nothing but a dog. He ain't nothing but a dog. Okay, well, you know the nature of a dog? (laughs) Did you know the nature of a dog? Mm Mm-hmm. He'll go someplace else. Mm Mm-hmm. See, Mark 7 and 13 says, making the word of God none effect through your tradition. There's a whole lot of stuff that's being taught. God didn't say. That's right. So we've got to heal the women in the name of Jesus and bring healing and deliverance to the men. That's right. Because this is not a man and a woman issue. This is a false teaching issue. Every woman deserves to have a husband that loves her. That's right. Every man deserves to have. And don't sit up in the church and condemn folk to hell because they've been married and divorced. Come on. Come on. 
There's so many people that call Katrina and I, and they feel like they are stuck for the rest of their lives because they married some knucklehead, and they love the Lord, and they got divorced, and somebody's telling them they got to be single for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Somebody done told them God's through with you. I had a preacher tell me I was uh, what about what nineteen twenty something. God is through with you because of what you've been through. Mm. Once you divorce, you might as well sit down and start preaching. Oh come on, please! I could not believe what I heard. Love Talk Radio. 